All right, let's summarize a little bit what we have so far. We have already been thinking about the nature of our research being exploratory, descriptive or explanatory possibly. Then we have already figured out some very vague research topic and research idea. Now, next, what comes next is going to be definitely some review of the literature. So maybe you are going to search for articles, for some books, materials about this research topic. I'm going to, in the next module, cover very deeply uh, the literature review. But in this video, I will try to kind of keep the flow of your of writing your research. And I will discuss writing the introduction part and one very important part, that is the rationale of the research. So let's start with it. Let's say that you have done some basic literature review, you have some information and you would like to just write down some introduction. Your introduction should have a sort of a V shape. So in the beginning, you are starting with the most general things uh, that you have to describe and you are slowly and gradually narrowing down to a most concrete idea, which will be stated at the end of the introduction, being the rationale of the research. So let's stick to our previous example of writing about the use of social media by ski resorts. So let's start with the most general. What can be the most general? Well, it can be social media. So the first paragraph of our introduction can be dedicated to some, let's say, a bit general, but not too general description of social media. Then let's narrow it down a little bit and start to talk about the ski resorts. But the second paragraph should be already building on the first paragraph. So in the second paragraph, you will describe uh, uh, how currently uh, ski resorts are using the social media. Maybe you will mention some previous work that was done on this topic. Now, the third paragraph can be even more concrete. Let's say ski resorts are working with the brand awareness. They really need to raise the brand awareness among their customers. And then in the last paragraph, you will relate these previous paragraphs together and you will say that uh, my research is going to be about the use of social media by ski resorts so that they can raise the brand awareness among customers. And this last paragraph is the rationale of your research. I think you get the idea of what is a rationale. It's simply a justification or a brief explanation of why your research is worth the investment or worth the time reading. So this rationale should be a sort of a clear conclusion of the whole introduction part. Introduction should be nice to read. So you will start in the, with the most general things, naturally narrowing it down, ending with the rationale of your research. So now we know basically how to structure the introduction of our work. And in the upcoming videos, we are going to talk about maybe the most important part being the research aim.